everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i have brought you a new fix like when you try to uh, record a video from or record a screen from your obs and when you try to import that video to your uh, adobe after after effects means it will throw an error so in this video i'll show you how we can fix that particular issue all right so uh, let's get started all right so now what i'm going to do is first let me open my uh, adobe after effects quickly okay so let me open my after effects all right so here is my uh, adobe after effects over here so i'll go for file okay wait uh, let me show you the video so here i just uh, recorded a screen uh, through obs and this is the video and you can see i've saved this particular video video in the videos folder okay so we'll try to import this particular file as you can see 10 20 20 is the file name all right so i'll go over here import file okay so here I'll go to the videos and I'll select that file. See, it is not showing over here, right? So it is showing all acceptable files. Let me select all uh, files, okay? Or uh, you can, if you try to uh, check the format means you can check over here whether it is available means I'll just go for uh, all footage files. Okay, all files, as you can see, I got over here. Let me select my file and I'll click on import, okay? See, now I got an error, right? Means that file has not been imported. So for this, what is an issue means there is a software you need to download a one more software called Handbrake or else you can uh, use the uh, same software called Adobe Media Encoder. Even you can use that software as well, but it is little bit in, in matter of size and for installation it will take a lot of time. So I have uh, I have another application called Handbrake. So if you want to download this particular uh, uh, software means I'll just give the link in the uh, description itself as you can see my file uh, format was mkv uh, I have opened my handbrake software over here I'll just close this no all right so let me import that particular file okay so this is the this is our uh, video I'll just import it over here okay so and this is the and let me uh, let, just check over here the summary the format is mp4 over here and uh, just keep all the default values itself so this is the dimension suppose if you want to change the dimension means you can change it okay these are the extra features which is available i'm showing so filters video and make sure the frame rate is 22 it will be a very high quality and h264 for mp4 all right so audio i'm not i don't want to delete the audio so subtitles chapters everything you can go through this i'll directly click on encode but wait so let me browse this where i need to save this particular file so I'll just name this file as oh wait okay not this one part all right then part one or uh, yeah part one is fine all right so okay part one game and click on save as you can see it will be saving in the video section I'll click on start encode all right so this will take some time okay this will take some time about uh, it depends on your video size also okay normally it will take more than five to ten minutes and some case if the video size is so much uh is huge means it will take a lot of time so we'll wait all right so we'll wait that okay so yes as you can see the import has been completed see now i can able to load my file in my adobe after effects right so part one this is the encoded file so i can able to load that particular file in my adobe after effects very simple so just you need to encode your file that's all okay you can use adobe media query as well, media encoder as well and handbrake software as well see as you can see my video is getting played in uh, in the uh, adobe after effects itself got it so this is how it is going to work all right i hope you guys understood uh, uh, how we can fix able to issue so let's meet in our next video